What's up, guys? So it is August 5th, 2022, and the Fragadals Menadalir eruption continues. The there's a 3D new there's a new 3D map that has been published uh, as of uh, eight August fourth yesterday, and this is one of the maps that I love to see and kind of study, uh, which give because it gives you a good understanding of how the the lava is uh, flowing and how the eruption evolves through time. This um, this model um, is a model that was being published uh, last year as well during the Fragadals uh, volcano eruption. And it is um, a great, absolutely amazing uh, model uh, to observe, which is uh, constructed uh, by the Icelandic Institute of Natural History in the National Land Survey of Iceland. Uh, the photographs are taken from an aircraft and processed in IGSoft Metashape software. The models are developed in collaboration with the Civil Protection and Emergency Management of Iceland and the University of Iceland. So, um, very, very cool, as always. Amazing to see, especially for this new eruption that just uh, started. So, uh, as I zoom out here, get a full glimpse of the coverage that was taken. We could see here the old volcano uh, crater from last year. And then here's the new one. So, that's the distance between or the relationship between the, where the new eruption is and the old eruption is, was. Um, so if we zoom in a little bit closer, and this is in great details too, so it's, it's a very great opportunity to kind of analyze um, where it started and how it started. So you could see how like the fissures had started in this line uh like the this developed line uh shape which was starting to go up this mountain here as you can see and and as as we continue to observe since this is fairly new the lava uh looks like it's flowing north up this little valley but at the same time, it is flowing south, east, up north again. So like it's it's flowing into this other valley here, which has has already been uh, covered with the old lava. So what's going to happen is the new lava will merge with the old lava, and it will find its way towards uh, wherever it needs to go. But um, this path, as we see here, is the f new path that it might take. And there is like some kind of trail here if we zoom in on it. So you can see there's like some kind of trail. But I think this was closed off as it continues off here. There's a bunch of trails. Oh, it's kind of tricky to maneuver this map. But um, oh, zoomed out. Yeah, there's a bunch of trails there. Um, coming into this eruption but the old uh, as far as like how people are getting there it looks like they're taking the old path a or b i think a is faster because b would just take you further out and then come come like it would take you out into here and then you would have to come back in whereas path a kind of goes along the edge of the lava or the crater and then people are are getting through path A, and they're just walking down the edge of all the lava, like this, here. And then they continue down this path, as you see, is it showing on the... Yeah, so like, they're continuing down this path here. They follow the lava, 
and then eventually come to the eruption site, which is right over here. It is calculated right now that it's about three hours to get there. So three hours to go there and then three hours to come back, which is roughly six hours approximately, depending on if you're stopping, you know, if you're hanging around, you know, if you're hanging, if you hang around here for like three hours, that's another three hours or you're at nine hours. So this will probably be a full day's kind of like hiking, trekking expedition adventure so keep that in mind for to bring lots of water bring lots of water bring food good hiking gear good weather gear because of the rain and the wind and also very important as you can see there's a lot of gas emissions and this is very toxic so depending on the wind direction um, it is rec highly recommended to keep in mind to uh, bring some kind of mask uh if you're if you're gonna get there so just in case winds do shift you don't want to be trapped in a uh gas scenario but um i'm gonna leave this map link in the description so you guys can check it out and kind of like freely zoom in and zoom out on the uh new eruption as you can see here i i think this this middle part here where you see most of the lava coming out looks like it might be the kind of where the crater, if there's a crater going to develop, it's going to be like in this area here. And then eventually things would start growing here. So love to see the development, love to see the evolution of this uh, new eruption. And like I said, I'll leave the, this, the link to this map and you guys could check it out. And um, and observe it from this point of view. So take care. Have a great day.